If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then it's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Hi, I'm Brian, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Brian, I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. And I'm Luke, and I'm I straddle the fence of uh, like and, and and dislike. Hallmark Christmas. Movies. I'm I'm Joel, and I'm just admiring your Christmas setup. So I'm a bit distracted, boys. But um, I I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I prefer Lifetime Christmas. Oh, oh and this is, is the Deck, Deck the Hallmark Podcast. podcast. <laughs> Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. Host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Well, well, oh, well. Boy. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh huh. Yeah. It's our first uh, Sunday release of the season. It's a new thing we're Ooh. trying where. You know, as you're on your way to to church, you know, <laughs> you put <laughs> on, on the old. Should we play the boys from Deck the Hallmark? I think on the we way should. To church? Yeah. But what are the yeah. odds that uh, a band that people might listen to on their way to church is joining us on our Sunday episode? I mean, the, like the odds are unbelievable. It yeah. is like we planned it, and we have not. I, I heard on good authority we don't have king or country. We have king and country. <laughs> I understand that. That is true. Mm-hmm. Um, which one of you is, is king, king? If you can introduce I'm yourself, king. Okay. I'm the king. Okay, great. Joel is the king. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the record, well, I because he, I was wanting to. Uh, Luke, are you country? I was wanting there to be a vote. Like which one? Oh, do you think is the king. Ooh. Yeah, I just wanted to know which. I which, mm. in my. Yeah, which, in my head, Luke, you are older than Joel, which would make you. I'm a younger ah. younger brother. That would make me. Uh-huh. That would make you king. As it doesn't. That's not true. Interesting. No. You know but Luke, I, I, so so I, I, Dan despises Hallmark films, and Luke now despises Dan wow. because Luke is the so younger simple. brother. Oh, it's maybe it's because you were on time, Luke. Uh, oh, maybe yeah. that's what Ooh. it was. I was Ooh. on time. I could hear everything. I just didn't have my mic turned on. All right. <laughs> Take it I, easy. It's Sunday, guys. It's the, the Lord's yeah, that's Day. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Between between the two of us, I probably am the most responsible. But uh, Dan, just to just to clarify one thing, um, I probably asked a thousand people in my life, "Hey, who do you think is older?" Like at, Q and, at, at uh, meet and greets and and signing lines and all those types of things. I think you're one of three people. Wow. It's, it's, true. I'm it's just changed. It's just changed. Mm-hmm. It's all the grays. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll do it. That I, I don't I don't know what it was, yeah. man. Maybe yeah. I just, you know, know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luke. I'm sorry I let you down there. But you also, I think you had the curly hair, which is like a crown. So let's yeah, go with that. Listen, oh, hey, Dan, oh, he's he's oh, just... He's the more mature. He's the more responsible brother. It makes sense. Yeah. Why can't you be more like your brother? That's yeah. right. You're always hearing Thanks, that. Mom. You're That's always right. hearing that. Um, you know what? We're really excited to be uh, with you guys virtually. We were together last, last night, night yeah. in Greenville, South Carolina. You were hey, here. How did you feel about the show, by the way? Oh, my thank gosh. You. Hey, thank you all for coming. Like yes. It was one thing for one of you to come or two of you to come. Yeah. It was a whole other thing for all three of you to come and bring your family. Yeah. Well, That's just... You- when you guys offered us free tickets, yeah, uh, and, and you, you invited I ordered us you on discount <laughs> tickets for yeah. the record. Luke ordered you the free older tickets. brother. Uh, my the favorite part, way. my favorite part was obviously when you guys invited us on stage yeah. and you let oh, us do a dream come true. What a time like, that was! It was an honor. It, it was, was an it honor. Was so awkward. We <laughs> kicked yeah. you off pretty. Quick, we overstay the welcome. It was per really usual. weird because Dan doesn't know any of your songs, and so it made it <laughs> tried to lead, it made lead it really the crowd. Weird. Yeah, I I'm an old school Rebecca St James fan. I'm trying to cross. Crossover though, yeah. I'm trying my best to yeah, get there. Yeah, Dan, Dan just went into you. What did you go into? Was it God? It was God. It was beautiful. That's right. Yeah. Um, we are really excited that you guys are joining us today uh, for a couple of reasons. We're going to be reviewing a Hallmark movie. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there was a little bit of a mix little, up in my mind. Wires crossed. Uh, it yes. was it was the Austrian movie, and I thought that you guys were Austrian. You're Australian, and yeah, that's on me. Yeah. Totally my fault. Yeah. I was trying you to and Jim think. Carrey. Yeah. I, so I I do apologize there. 
Um, but you are joining us as well because you've got a, a pretty big holiday season uh, per usual for you guys. You are a bit of a, a, a holiday staple now for a lot of people uh, because of your Christmas music. And uh, your your concert is coming to cinemas, mm. to the theater. The cinema. In, uh, mm. in December, which is pretty exciting. Uh, what can you tell people about uh, a, a concert film? I imagine that's going to be uh, pretty cool to see on the big screen. Oh, we'll give you the whole backstory, boys. Please. Um, I was, we're at home um, right now. And, and uh, last year, we were at home uh, in between Christmas shows. And I was in the bath. Um, and I was reading, yeah. fully, fully clothed. Sure, um, of course. And I was course. reading. Um, Family show. The Wall Street Journal, and it went through all of these, um, like, the, it, the title was The Films That Saved Cinemas This Year. And one was uh, religious dramas. One was, uh, one genre was um, actually, uh, like, classic films going back into theaters. And the third was live concert films. And we had already been toying around with, we love Christmas. It's the most meaningful time of the year. Um, we love you know, the story behind Christmas. And we've sort of opted to take this sort of very spiritual approach to the season and remake some of these incredible Christmas songs, namely a song called The Little Drummer Boy, um, which was written in the early 1900s. And, and we did the most obvious thing. We put a bunch of drums on a song about a boy playing drums for Jesus. And it's sort of like, I, I have TSA pre-agents come to me these days. Like, they won't say you're for King Country. They won't say you're representing James Brothers. They'll say, you're the drummer boy, guys. <laughs> um, and so it's kind of caught on like house on uh, like a house on fire. So we do these tours, but you can only get to so many places in one season because the season's so short until this year. So we took, after reading that article in the bath, fully clothed, we took the <laughs> film crew from... Um, uh, from Unsung Hero, which is a movie we did with Lionsgate that released earlier this year. And we put them in the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, and we captured a cinematic concert experience up close and personal um, of the greatest, what we believe is the greatest season of the year. And so five nights only, December 5th through 9th, it's going to be in 1,500 theaters across America. So instead of us upsetting three quarters of the country when we announce we can only go to 10 cities, it's going to be within driving distance of every American this Christmas. So we're, we are pretty, it's not quite a Hallmark film, but it is pretty exciting. <laughs> I mean, I think we could put something together yeah. though and make it a Hallmark film. I, I mean, think. yeah. Halfway there. 1,500 yeah, screens. That that's, is, that's a that's wide great. release. That is not an independent film. That is like, you guys are going to be out there. That's going to be fantastic. Is it just, yeah, little, I mean, look, sorry, it, go ahead. It, it, Go ahead. No, no, no you. Ahead. No, you. I was going to make a joke, and it's no, not the time for it's jokes. Not the time. <laughs> Absolutely. Go not. Hey, hey. This is very serious. The country is talking, guys. <laughs> well, well, apparently I was the king, but I got dismantled. Um, but that'll happen. Uh, no, it, it's the the fun thing about this um, this this tour is it is the big the the Christmas tour that we usually do every year. It's the biggest thing that we do. And uh, as Joel said, it's always been very frustrating because we have people get, but if you go west, you go, go east, you know what I'm saying? And so to be able to, with technology, with uh, the, the theaters and the fathom, to be able to solve this and celebrate the greatest story in the history of the world altogether is, uh, is a real delight. So yes, 1,500 theaters and counting. That's, That's right. amazing. It's called A Drummer Boy Christmas, the Cinematic Concert Experience. Um, and we're, we're, we're just thrilled. Uh, Fathom's putting it out and, and we're really grateful to them, but enough about that. Brent, you want to make yeah. that joke now? I, yeah, I was going to make the joke. Uh, um, is it just little drummer boy for two hours yeah. or do you do a couple no, of just that song? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's really good song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a really, song. it's a really yeah. good and song. And I, I just, can I say this, Luke, if you were clean shaven based upon the Google images, you would clearly be the younger brother. Wow. I think it's the stubble that's mm. getting you in trouble. Mm. I thought about, I thought about that this morning. And I was like, you know, uh, I think I need to show some wisdom. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as I'm going on to review a 
Hallmark yeah. Christmas movie. I Show it some respect. Wisdom was required for this. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and that's yeah. why you're the king. Uh, so, so yeah, I think that would have fixed the whole thing. But yeah. you know, we're here. I think. Okay. I think it now, works out. W- one more question, just about Christmas music. There are groups out there, like the Trans Siberian Orchestra and Mannheim Steamroller, that have figured it out. How to figure out how do we do the whole uh, country? And it's that we have two Ooh, separate bands, and we call mm-hmm. them both mm-hmm. Trans Siberian Orchestra, <laughs> even though it's not, <laughs> because no one really knows who's in that band. They that's just right. know the song so like what are you working on right. to make that possible mm. for the next year maybe you guys split up the king maybe or country you do yeah. king, the king tour, People the, have the, tour. the ultimate yeah. vote <laughs> yeah. have you thought about it <laughs> um i mean look we're in the days of ai guys we're in the days of holograms and so in a couple of years i'm sure we're going to be able to do it but for the moment all we got is 10 12 shows unless Again, you can capture it cinematically. And I'll say this, though, the just, just just to brag it on, on the team, it's really beautiful. Like, mm-hmm. uh, And I feel like I can say that because there were so many people that worked on it. You know, there's, there's, we go 40, 50 feet in the air um, during the show, and there's 12,000 people in the room. And we had an Emmy Award-winning sound mixer in L.A. mix it, Matt Waters and Ainsley Grosser. And it just it's, – it looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. It's really immersive – um, and that was one of our key focuses was we wanted to make something that felt um, like you literally were in the room with us. I, I, funnily enough, our, you, the CFOs never lies, uh, never lie, boys. And our CFO watched it and he was like, I don't know, I was skeptical, guys, when you decided to do this. But I think this is better than one of your real shows, honestly. It's like, okay, oh, wow. Wow. Man. That's a typical CFO, though. They yeah, don't want to yeah, leave yeah. the office. Yeah, you know? that's true. CFO. He doesn't have to go to I, I to take big risks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, we actually did talk to the sound mixer, and he said it was the hardest job he's ever had. So the fact that, <laughs> that he was able to make it sound good is really a testament to him and that team. So congratulations yeah. to that team. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's awards coming out for him. Um, shall we talk about the Austrian I Christmas would. movie? We should. Probably. Since we have yeah. the Australians here, yeah. let's talk yes. about this Austrian. Yes. Um, for everybody that didn't watch, <laughs> Shit on <laughs> Halloween, Halloween night. night. Yeah. Um, here is how the movie went. Maybe you recorded it on Philo. Philo.tv slash yes. DTH. Maybe, Maybe you, did. you did that. Maybe you saying. did. You could. Um, My Sweet Austrian Holiday originally premiered on Halloween in 2024 on the Hallmark Channel, and it went a little something like this. Uh, Charlotte is a chocolatier uh, who recently moved to Vienna with a wild idea, like, you know, putting potato chips and chocolate and whatnot. She's at a fundraising event surrounded by as many Christmas trees as possible. Also at this event is Henry, who doesn't know much, but he knows one thing. You don't put potato chips in chocolate. I disagree, Henry. Uh, Charlotte is trying hard to win Vienna's Chocolatier of the Year Award because if she wins, she thinks it will be harder to lose her shop to a developer who is trying to buy it. And who is this developer, you might be wondering? It's Henry's company. And everything is looking good for the development to purchase this this, uh, 300 Hundred million euro development, except for Charlotte's chocolate shop. She is fighting it tooth and nail, and Henry doesn't know about that though because he doesn't really want to know any details about what is going on. He just wants to know if it's it's if it's going well. He just wants to be on holiday. He leaves a meeting to walk through the market and bumps into Charlotte again. They end up walking around the city together, having a great time. They eventually return uh, to her chocolate shop, and she gives him some chocolate to remember her by on his way out he hands her his cart I thought that was going to be a, a who done it there moment but it wasn't and she's like thank you I'll hold on to this uh, the next day they bump into each other again and he asks her if she wants to get dinner she says I always have time for food Fantastic. Uh, they go out and they talk about uh, their, their dreams and whatnot, uh, which gets Henry thinking, is he actually doing what he loves? He knows that Charlotte is, but is he? He finds out that Charlotte is fighting off developers, and he doesn't put two and two together. He thinks, let me see if I can help you. So he asks an associate to look into Charlotte's business to see if they can do anything to help fight off the developer uh, as a historical landmark. When Henry, What Henry doesn't know is that that associate 
Lafayette is the one who's trying to fight her on the historical dun, dun, landmark dun. status. I know. So <laughs> instead of helping her, she serves Charlotte with paperwork claiming um, imminent domain. Charlotte is like, over my dead body it is. She is ready for war, for king, and for country. country. Uh, she Woo! shows him the paperwork, and it all clicks in. He's the bad guy in this story. He could come clean to her, but he doesn't want to. Instead, they go ice skating and uh, decorate a Christmas tree, something he's never done before. He calls his dad to get advice, and his dad's like, you should just pay her more money and get this over with. Uh, they do offer her more money, but she's not having it. She decides to look into this company finally to find out uh, who's behind this, and maybe they can. She can go and talk to them. Um, and there's this point that she finds out that Henry is associated mm. with the development. So she barges in and tells him to shove off. Henry feels all mopey dopey. She's then looking at pictures and comes across a photo of her grandma, who the shop used to belong to, and her grandma's best friend, who still lives in Vienna. So she goes to visit her, and luckily she has a picture of the two of them in front of this building before the special date that would make the building historic. So she has proof. Henry's dad shows up and says, Hey, son, I'm sorry that I suck. I suck as a dad, and I'm sorry. I want to try to help you figure out a way that you can make things better. So he puts together some cool boop, blah, blueprints on boop, a boop, phone. Boop, 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 blueprints. Um, I did rap last night at the show, and it was really good. Dude, so yeah. thank you. I can't believe um, they brought us back up for an encore. It was amazing. It was a for King and Country show. Yeah, drummer boy. Yeah. Yeah. Little drummer boy was huge. Right. Um, so uh, <laughs> the blueprints, he shows them to, uh, to her, and she's like, I'm going to have to think. And so what better way to think than with a waltz? They waltz together, and eventually she tells him that, hey, I'm in. This sounds great. They kiss. Then they stop dancing. They talk about it again. She once again says, I'm in. They kiss again. And then there's fireworks. Hey, and that, that, was a, that was the... That, yep, yep. that, my friends, was <laughs> my sweet Austrian, Austrian, Austrian holiday. holiday. That's right. Uh, let's take a break. Thank you. Thank you. That's more clapping than you guys did for us last night. Yeah, sure. didn't want to bring it up. Making up for, for lost time. Um, sure, let's take sure, a quick sure. break. We'll come back. We'll break this movie down uh, with For King and Country. Here on Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark. Hallmark. We've all got a thing. For me, it's vintage furniture. And now talking about how I found it on eBay is like my whole personality. Even at 2 a.m. when I can't get 19th century sofas off my mind, I'm on eBay for sure. Scrolling my favorite seller's storefront, setting search alerts, and building the watch list of my literal dreams. I know antique lamps aren't everybody's thing, but the best part about eBay is it doesn't matter what you're into. Fashion, car parts, trading cards, it's all there. So go find the thing that keeps you up at night. eBay. Things. People. Love. If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then it's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Welcome back, everybody. We're talking about my sweet Austrian holiday with the Australian <laughs> band for go. King and Country. Close. Um, we're going to break this movie down. We're going to share our thoughts on it. Uh, let's do our hot takes. Brian, I'm going to start with you, uh, because why would I start with the guest? I'm going to start no, with you. Right. No, we should and, never uh, do that. What, what did you think of uh, my sweet Austrian holiday? Yeah, I I actually uh, thought that was pretty good stuff. What? Uh, I, I had a pretty good time. <laughs> Brian! Uh, uh, like we start, Buddy. we start with uh, somebody who's already made a big life decision, moving to, to Vienna, <laughs> not in the conflict. Like, should I? Shouldn't I? It'll uproot my whole life. She already did it. So, right off the bat, I know a lot about her character, and I like, I like her. I like this. <laughs> I like where this is going. Uh, Brian, Will Kemp as Henry. Um, he, I feel like he even could have leaned into the Arrested Development. Uh, or the immaturity of not Does one. he look like Hugh Jackman to anyone else? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, I tell you what it he was, does. was the way he was, he we've, Will's been on the show before, so has Brittany. They, both of these leads have been on our show before. Will loves to do voice. He is mm. British. He's from London, but he loves to do voices. I loved his accent. Yeah. Yeah. And he was accent. in the pocket so, there. Yeah. And it, yeah. it did make him give him a little bit of a Hugh Jackman vibe. Yeah, that works for him. I and said it, he could be Willy Wonka. I yeah, said 100%. he could legitimately be Willy Wonka if he wanted to. 100%. Can you imagine that? So I oh. liked these 
characters, and the story I thought was great. Chocolate, you cannot go wrong. Obviously, God, a were, little more, you, a little so more chocolateering would have done us all some good. I think we all agree there. Will, anytime Will dances, that's a joy for everybody to watch. Uh, so yeah, I had a good time. The conflicts, yeah, predictable. But the one thing with this, where <laughs> he he hid his identity from her, which yeah. typically that's like classic yeah. move. I didn't mind it in this one because I felt like he was actually he might pull this off. Like he might fix it. And be so able to if you were it. him, you would have lied to her on the off chance you could solve the problem without being I honest? don't know if I... I'm not... W w he is I a know, better, bigger man than I am. <laughs> I don't know if I could have pulled it off. I had confidence in him doing this, though, and I was yeah. with him. I was along for the ride. I was really he also him. He also had uh, Batman's sidekick, Brian, working 100%. with him on that's the true. whole thing. 100%. That's true. That's true. And that, yes. makes, it, that makes all there. the difference. Alfred You're the absolutely. butler, that's right. So that was Most huge. people think I, Batman's I, sidekick I, is Robin, but it's not. No, it's not. Go ahead. Uh, oh, no. Hey, I find it remarkable that you just somehow intellectualized the whole Mark Christmas movie the way that you just did. I mean, it was it was a thank you an but, impressive feat where you. you're like, you know, you're building up to like, you just felt like because she moved from... Uh, I was impressive. To oh, me. thank I, you. I found that... Um, We're going to give yeah. you a for King Country critique on your comments. Yes. yes. Uh, also, <laughs> did you... Now, one question. Yeah. I have one question. Um, did you Did you watch it with anyone else? I watched it alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched it by myself. Yeah. I thought you were going to say right. something else. I watched that it. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Alone. Just me. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. He was locked in. But also, Interesting. Luke, yeah. Joel, you need to know, like, we watch a bunch of these movies. Like, we we're, we watch them five days a week. We watch a ton of these. What he did there was not impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I think that's... Uh, <laughs> feels good to be knocked down a peg or two. I think that's what they call the weave. There may have been a little, there may have been a little sarcasm in my comment, but that's okay. No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. No way. Uh, Luke, while you're talking, how about you uh, share your thoughts on this movie? First of all, do you yeah. have an ex like yeah, a, what's your a past with a Hallmark Christmas movies or made for TV Christmas movies? I okay, guess your so past with. So look, you know, you. I, I, I hope you. I hope you saw my joke last night because we get ready to sing a love story, and I say, hey, you know, I, I gotta admit, I love a good love story. And I asked the audience, hey, do you love it? You know, you love a good love story. And they all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that I part of the show, say. guys? Oh, it was a really, 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 really good, good love story yeah. part. Yes, yeah. 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 But for those that weren't there, keep going. Yeah. 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 It was funny. Yeah. It was funny, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, and I say, uh, my wife's got me watching these Hallmark Christmas movies in July. <laughs> and so it's a part of my stick. It's a part of my, my, my deal. So, uh, yes, I have watched a fair few uh, my wife. And but look, the, the game that I like to play, I'm sure you gentlemen like to play as well, is can I figure out the ending of the movie within the first five minutes of the movie? <laughs> and uh, usually, I'm successful. Yes. Um, this this film was it was it was it was fine. You know, it was it had the warm fuzzies. There wasn't a lot of twists. I just want one, one of them to the die. <laughs> in one of these. Yes, I want some sort of yes, yes. yes. But I, uh, but I, but to me, you know, what's interesting is <coughs> not done to the same level, maybe as you've got mail. But you know, you've got the big developer coming Whoa. in. There's the little sore over here, <laughs> and he's coming in, and he's the big bad wolf, you know. And they kind of run into each other a few times, and so you know, it, it was, uh, it was, it was what I would expect from a, a Hallmark uh, Christmas movie. Um, I do think Hallmark Christmas movies have. Uh, their scripts have gotten progressively better where there are a few twists and turns that you don't see coming. This was not one of them. Nope. And that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Hey, um, before you go, go to ahead. Joel, you need to know that Joel is a screenwriter and a director, like has a has directed a feature film. So the bar is high for the, the eldest king yeah. and country here. Luke has also produced uh, that said film. So we're both, <laughs> we both got this going for us, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, okay. Well, yeah. it's not a Lifetime movie, but uh, what did you think mm. of, of this movie? All right. <laughs> All right, I got, I got high, I got highlights and I got lowlights. Right, I thought the stakes, Brian, per your comment, were, were moderately high stakes. You know, I, I like, I kind of felt like, all right, no one's gonna die if this thing, yeah. uh, you know, um, does doesn't doesn't come through. I will say, I'm gonna start at the end um, and say that uh, that waltz was one hallmark of He's a waltz. A great dancer, I mean, bro. it was it, like, yeah. 
when she he was spinning and dancer. the whole thing. Yeah. Will I, I, is I, I a classically trained dancer. Will Kemp is like yeah. years yeah. of dancing. Yeah. Just, so here's my, here, here's my a professional. Yes, yes. And you can my, tell my highlights. My yeah. highlights were, I actually thought it had scope. I thought there was some really nice, like, it did not feel like, some of these films feel like they've just shot them in really tiny rooms and they didn't have the budget to get the big, you know, shot. I felt like, Brand to your point about the end, the fireworks, that little superimposed shot. The first time they showed that estate, I was like, that's beautiful. Fireworks didn't work for me. Uh, <laughs> not that that's part of the storyline. Um, highlights, I, I, I thought there were, some, there were some really good quotes in it. Um, uh, at one point, I think she said something like, She's, you stay because you think you're losing someone when in the end you're losing yourself. Mm. I was like, oh. In the music. Oh, the wow. I, thought, I thought that was... Yeah, I thought that was nice. And then um, this was not quite as good of a line, but I thought it was still fun. She said, I don't, I don't, I don't need a hero, Henry. I need someone who's willing to be honest with me. And I thought that was good conflict resolution. Um, I, I have some questions. I want to know what happened to Alfred and the other lady. Like, I, <laughs> they did that, disappear. I didn't really, yeah. yeah, I did really, I don't really care that much, but I felt like they ran out of time at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I like the estate at the end. Like I said, uh, I thought um, I thought the accents were great. I thought the uh, the FaceTime calls. So this is some of the lowlights. The FaceTime calls were weird for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so this is someone just needs to say. Speaking of a director, someone needs to say. Whenever you make a FaceTime call, ever you're never looking at the camera. You're always looking at yourself. Yep. So the FaceTime calls felt a little off to me. Um, I thought the cuckoo clock. Mm. <laughs> a little cuckoo, maybe. <laughs> That's a little cuckoo. The cuckoo mm. clock was a little cuckoo. Now, here's another highlight. I thought the, uh, the Dobla design of the coffee shop, I thought it was very legitimate. You know, sometimes they throw those little, they come up with an idea and they throw it up there and it just looks sort of B-grade. I thought it was very legitimate. Um, Another low light was there was definitely no coffee in their mugs when they were ice skating. No, I know Never. how. There was yeah. not Never. a there was not a drop no, I know. of coffee. No, I know. Like just put some just put some dark water in there, guys. Coke. You can stomach a little Coke. bit of Coca Cola. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that was a bit of a low light. Then also when they were having their sort of romantic thing in the apartment, and he sort of wanted to kiss her, but she was sort of avoiding it. Um, I'm glad they cleared this up because she she opens the fridge and she poured what seemed to be milk mm. into their glasses. And I thought, who in the last 140 years has <laughs> at 7 p.m. on a date opened the fridge and poured their other, their, their dates, a uh, 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 glass of milk? Now it was eggnog in the end. Yeah, thank God. So Because that would have been Thank God. <laughs> and they cleared it up. Um, another weird, this is not even a low light or a highlight, it was just weird. Uh, did anyone catch the, the chimney cakes of Transylvania? No, no, I guess not. <laughs> mm. You got to watch that one again. Mm. I don't think I so. I literally <laughs> paused it and rewatched it. He studied this. Um, yeah, he I studied, studied this thing. I, yeah. I, I thought this was this was our big moment on this podcast. Right. I thought I'd really do uh, every yeah. day my due diligence. Um, my, my overall yeah. synopsis is this, yeah. Dan. I thought the I thought the um, I thought the stakes weren't high enough. Um, I thought they had I thought they had sweet chemistry. I thought it had a little bit of scope, um, but I wanted more. And and even when like when she Googled him and she found out that he was the one behind it, like I wanted like weeping in that. And this is melodramatic in me, but I wanted her to be like legitimate betrayal. I thought she was kind of like, oh, shucks. It was him all the time. <laughs> yeah. Should have Googled him. Should have Googled, Googled him. Yeah. Ah, well. She should have Googled him. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there's my synopsis. I love um, it. Great job, guys. And yeah. I don't really have much to, <laughs> to add or change. I, I agree. It wasn't... Good. Wasn't great. It wasn't great. <laughs> wasn't I thought great. it was fine. I, I, you know, I, I, to that point of you should have Googled him when she handed him the business card. Yeah. I was excited because I was like, oh, great. We're going to get this out of the way quick. Right away. Yeah. Gonna, he's, she's going to find out that this guy is uh, oh, a part of this development. That was, that was going to be the turn. And yeah. it wasn't. And yeah. um, I think that uh, this movie could have uh, gone up a level or two had that just come out. Yeah. Um, and then you know, I, I think they, those two together 
uh, Britt Bristow. Um, she was so good in this movie. I thought. I thought she was wonderful. Mm. Um, the mm. waltz was wonderful. Who's yeah. not happy with the waltz? The fireworks were awful, but yeah. in the best way. I love. I love. Anytime you add fireworks to the end of a movie, <laughs> shout out Christmas it, in Carolina. It does feel like it's just one of those things where it's like. How do, transition. how do we end it? <laughs> um, and I I love that. And so uh, just an okay for me, a uh, but a definite could have been better uh, with just a few minor yeah. tweaks. In my I, thought, I will say this too. Though. I thought I, I thought to your point, Brent. I yeah. thought they were really good. Yes. Like I thought I thought he I, I loved acting, his accent. Acting, uh, yeah. Well, he's legit. Uh, uh, he's he was born in England. I. I think that uh, they actually as actors are pretty solid actors and what you probably are just picking up on is you know an actor can only do so much because sometimes you can watch some other you can watch some other home and you're like man this could be a good movie but these people just aren't delivering mm-hmm. right it, they were delivering but it's a difficult content yeah. to deliver yep. what I, can what I, I offer can I offer one one technical comment as well I'll allow it <laughs> thank oh, you here we go. Um, yeah. I know this can probably flies in the face of like Hallmark movies in general, but I just wish we watched one that was actually just a bit more underlit. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, because it just, as an actor, it makes it so much harder That's to. A staple, it it, it yeah, is. Like, it is a Hallmark staple. You're right. Yeah. But as, as an actor, it makes it so much harder when, when you just feel overexposed all the time. And so I thought they did a doubly good job because it was everything was so overlit that there was no. There's no mystery in any of the textures yeah. of their face. It was just all kind of right there all the yeah. time. So. Yeah. No, you know what you're getting right away <laughs> with that. Like, there's like 15 <laughs> trees, uh, uh, like on this platform behind them at this fundraiser. You know what you're getting. They don't hide it. This is going to be a bright movie, Dad Gummit. Uh, we're in yeah. Austria. Um, let's get to all the feels. We I didn't about- even give a hot take. Didn't even give one. I, no, I, Dan, I will, we have to have a damn hot take. Yeah, I, I, want the negative, I want the negative hot take. Um, can I go, Brain? Is that all right with you? Will you, you allow think? it? I'll allow it. Okay. For king and country. For king and country. Um, yeah, so this movie is in my top 10 Hallmark Christmas movies this year. Purely because we've only watched 10. Um, <laughs> so it made it. This is a disaster. Um, we Listen, I don't do this for every movie. I know people think I do, and I, I, I get my jollies from saying all these movies suck. That's not true. There's been some good ones this year. This movie is written by someone who doesn't know how humans work. I, I don't... They literally... They spared every expense making this movie. Um, I disagree on the locale. I disagree on how it was shot. I disagree that any... I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't say anything about the, sh- the cinematography. Okay, fair. But fair. The, location. Some of the location. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Um, I, the, the fact is, is you have two professionals in Britt Bristow and Will Kemp yeah. who are yeah. firemen's carrying this thing over the finish line, even when they have to deliver lines like, uh, I always say about life and chocolate that change is the thing that keeps life from being a snooze fest, which we'll get into more later. But if you think about line and try to diagram that sentence, mm. you're going to run into a multitude of problems. Um, this movie, <laughs> this movie has literally nowhere to be in all day to get there. It, there are, there are silent, dramatic pauses in this movie that are a lifetime. Um, it is Lawrence of Arabia in length. I can't believe it was only 84 minutes. The Waltz and the two leads, both of these leads are, listen, we've seen both of these leads in really quality movies. They are doing the best they can with what is definitely not a Hallmark level budget or a Hallmark level script. Um, I looked at my 23, 2022 and 2023 list of Christmas movies, and this would have finished in the bottom five or six in either of those two years. Really? I really firmly believe this will be one of the worst movies that we watch all season, and I am <laughs> floored that I've not heard the same from the two of you. Not in this level of, of, of detail, but I'm floored that this got anywhere near a thumbs up. I, I like... I don't even know. I get like we're different on Christmas charade. I get that. Well, and I need to apologize because I actually think I'm the one. I don't know. We had a list of the, some of the ones that were coming out, and I was the one that picked it. So <laughs> I, I apologize to everyone. Dan, I apologize. No, to you. we had to review well, it think, anyway. I, you know, we were going to have to review it either a, way. We don't have a, a real good gauge either of like because uh, you know, newsflash. Actually, me now less Luke. Luke watches more of them than I do. I. 
this was my first Hallmark film in maybe ever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I can so see how you got my, there. Yeah. yeah. My, 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 my frame of reference is like, well, I know, we know all the sticks, right? They're a bit overlit. They're a bit, you know, the, the stakes aren't very high. So I kind of watched it and went, no, oh, of course. Yeah. And I will yeah. say this before Hallmark has gotten way better. I think Luke brought it up, but Hallmark's gotten way better the last three or four That's years. True. And it's, That's it's been true. a paradigm shift for us on this podcast because I will say this, this movie in 2019, probably middle of the pack for, for Hallmark. Yeah. Probably like 20 in the 20s, in my opinion. But now, if you had watched pretty much any of the other ones, maybe not the Girl Scout one, but any of the other ones we've seen this year, you would notice a pretty big jump in a lot of the things that that, that are necessary to yeah. make a movie really good. So maybe Maybe the best way to put it is everyone just needed to actually try. Yeah. <laughs> not like just try. Yeah. Like just, yeah. I mean, no, I, I think the two leads were trying. They were really try like they were trying yeah, they to, were. They were. but like I, everything else, no one was really trying. Yeah, I think it was tough. I think it was a it's a it's a thing where you've got a location <laughs> and you've got a movie that you want to make, and there wasn't a lot of you know time or magnification put into anything aside from these two leads are going to get us there. So you know yep. what are you yep. going to do? Uh, let's get to all the feels now. Is where we talk about uh, what in this movie gave us feels. <laughs> Brian, anything stick out to you? Yeah, actually, it's something, Joel, you mentioned the the brightness up front, but something this movie had that I love in a movie like this is the Christmas lights in the background all the time. Like, the every mm. scene was glowing. I did notice that. And I like that. I like that look. Yeah. So, and that, this movie had it. Reminded me of Kismet Christmas from last year, yep. starring Sarah Ramos, obviously. Shut up. Uh, but, yeah, really like that. Your girl, Sarah Ramos. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Haven't seen her this year. Um, and then the Christmas market. I mean, when you have... A Christmas market, the all bets are off. Like those things are phenomenal. We don't have big Christmas markets like that here, you know, like they have uh, in, in Europe. Mm. So it, it's great to see them on screen. Uh, Luke, any feels for you? Uh, look, I probably go a little bit more um, emotional. I try to find the depth of basically any art that's created. I did think that the dynamic between father and son, at least trying to reconcile that, I think that's some. Thing that is applicable for a lot of people. I think Still no stakes, though. In the world, right? Yeah. And um, no, no, they could have ramped it up, but all the feels was seeing them actually in that last shot, kind of him going, hey, I'm not, and uh, I want to kind of make it uh, turn the page a little bit. For me, I was like, hey, I, I, I can appreciate that, and I can appreciate a movie trying to tell a little bit of that story of, uh, of what I think happened. A, a lot of us. A real know, field of dreams from, uh, moment trauma on Sweet Austrian Holiday. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it was a real field of dreams moment, but you it heard just, it here. They were yeah. trying. Yeah. yeah were trying. Uh, John. Uh, I'm admittedly, I'm, I'm struggling to come back from Dan's comments. And I, I will say, I sort of, <laughs> you know, as a guest who doesn't have a lot of authority, I sort of maybe some level do resonate with a lot of them. Um, uh, the reason I chose this film is because I just thought if we can get Hallmark out of America mm. and we can interject a few accents and some, some sort of it culture to be and some range. America. Yeah, you're probably right. No, I but, think it was but, filmed in Europe. Had to Belarus, I think. Yeah, Belarus. Is, is that, that right? Okay. That's where there they, you go. Yeah, you they go. get some tax breaks. They film a lot in Romania. Like a lot of the <laughs> Warrior <laughs> movies, they film in Romania. A lot yeah. of tax tax incentives well, there. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, well, yeah, we blew my mind. We scouted for a film in Romania in 2019. To your point, there's a lot of yeah. lot of you can you can make a high dollar film. Uh, Cold Mountain, uh, yep. a Civil War film with Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman and Jude Law. Was so, Joe, in, what's in, your what's your what's your all the feels? Um, the my, all the feels were. Let me dig deep. <laughs> you don't have to have one. It's fine. Um, I, well, no, Brian, I did, I did think the lights. I thought whenever you go to that shallow depth of field and the lights are sort of sparkling in yeah. the back, I, I clocked that like two or three times. I was like, that's really sweet. Um, I did not have all the feels with the father something. I, I thought, Luke, I thought this father and son have not been reconciled for like the better part of 40 years, oh, it I seems know. like. And all of a sudden, he's like, you know what? I've, I've been a loser. I'm so sorry, buddy. Like, I was like I, I'm going to fly. Like, speaking of stakes, I'm going to fly halfway around the world to be like, sorry about that call. When I was looking straight down the barrel of the FaceTime call instead of at you. Um, so I didn't, I didn't relate to that. Um, 
I, I didn't. Speaking of all the feels, I didn't. I didn't get to the end and was like, "Thank God, they're together." <laughs> like I would take. I didn't get to like. So, I think the feels actually for me were more textile. It was more like I, I really appreciated how hard they worked on that chocolate shop and the title, and it was actually one of the best sets to me. Um, they had some nice little close-ups of the, the chocolate, chocolate being made, and I thought, "Oh, that was really nice." And then the and the, the 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 chocolate header, I thought that that was really great. But but beyond that, I I, I didn't have many. Do you, point do you get that. I just love that all the feels for Joel. It has nothing to do with the script. Mm. Nothing to do with <laughs> acting. Nothing to do with actually, really, the movie. He's yeah, just hungry. I, he was just, just hungry. Do you get the sense that Luke and Joel, <laughs> Luke and Joel Brand are a little bit like uh, old Brand and Dan over well, here? Well, I think there's here. a reason why they're not in the same room, and uh, <laughs> and that's tough. But you hate to see that. Yeah. You hate to see Didn't that. want to bring it up. Um, mine is brain. a feels that uh, uh, you do see it. You bon do Jovi see it situation. in the movie. Uh, she has a red bike, and I thought the red bike was delightful. I thought there's nothing that quite. One shot. That, that one, one shot. shot. That one shot. That one shot. Amazing. It's a big bike guy. I'm a big bike guy. <laughs> hey, I did. Hey, to, to, to your point, Brad, yeah. I did look at that shot, and I went, well, they, they really went. They like they really tried on that shot. Mm. They got like, just the composition, <laughs> the time of day, guy. the yeah. extras. I was like, they really did that thing. The red bike, red bike, <laughs> the redness red. of the bike. Let's the get backgrounds. red bike. It's Christmas, red bike. <laughs> once uh, again, once again, you guys are pointing out. You guys are pointing out. <laughs> Luke, this is what it's come to. Luke, I think you're. I think you're speaking the loudest, Luke. I think yeah. you are. You, you're. Yeah, you're saying. Uh, you're saying the quiet part out loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Dan. Yeah, um, I mean, between the lights and bikes Thank and stuff, yeah. uh, I searched my heart, <laughs> and searched my heart, and found absolutely nothing. nothing. Uh, sorry about that, but oh, right. I guess we'll take a break and see if I can scrounge up any weight. What? Well, wonderful. <laughs> we'll yes, talk. we'll talk. Yes, yeah, so let's take a, a quick break. We'll come back. We'll get to the weight one, the what, the hallmark here on Dick Dick the hallmark. hallmark. We've all got a thing. For me, it's vintage furniture. And now talking about how I found it on eBay is like my whole personality. Even at 2 a.m. when I can't get 19th century sofas off my mind, I'm on eBay for sure. Scrolling my favorite seller's storefront, setting search alerts and building the watch list of my literal dreams. I know antique lamps aren't everybody's thing, but the best part about eBay is it doesn't matter what you're into. Fashion, car parts, trading cards, it's all there. So go find the thing that keeps you up at night. eBay. Things. People. Love. If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then it's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Welcome back, everybody. We are talking my sweet Austrian holiday for King and Country is with us. And it's time for the Wait What. It's where we talk about when this movie made us go. Wait What? I'll start with you, Brian. Brian, what stuck out to you? Yeah, to uh, piggyback on some of the tech talk uh, that's already <laughs> been brought up. They they did that weird thing where somebody's on, doing the FaceTime from a laptop. Somebody's on a phone. <laughs> And the person who's using the laptop shows up as if they're using their phone That's in right. portrait yes. mode. The person on the phone shows up in widescreen on the laptop. So thankfully, <laughs> tech's gotten a lot better. It these, has. But as thankfully, that information we still got is going over the digital highway. It does rotate, the orientation yeah, it's for you. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. An AI, it's AI. Yeah. yeah, people don't even make movies anymore. No, they just they, they just hold up a phone. It's done. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Impressive. Yeah. That's good. Uh, the indoor skating rink. Oh slash. my gosh! Uh, Can we talk about this uh, for a year? I was going to bring that up. Slash obstacle course. You mean fall? The, the fall hazard? Yeah, with what a table <laughs> with drink service at the table in the middle of the rink. Can uh, you imagine a server? You're just trying to ice skate, and a server <laughs> whoop, has a in, tray whoop, of drinks whoop. weaving through and Caution bringing hot. it to the table. It's a good thing there's no liquid Guys, in there. I think, I, I think I actually said to the TV with some people that I was watching it with, "I have no idea what's going on." Right yeah, now. yeah, I, I, I was. Talking to the TV like that. Well, there, there was a couple of very there was there was a couple of very convenient moments. Can we also so the, sure. the hot chocolates, the empty hot chocolates on the quote unquote ice skating rink <laughs> was very convenient. Can da, da, Brian? Can we also talk about um, the fact that she ran into him not once <laughs> but twice? <laughs> That's true. Perfectly 
timed. If she had been 10 seconds later in her day when he walked out of that hotel, they would have missed each other. Yeah. But like, God is as good. a screenwriter, you're saying like, I got I, I to gotta figure out how to get these two people together. I have an idea. Let's mm-hmm. just have him walk out of the hotel. <laughs> Serendipity. Yeah. The it's ice, magic. The, the ice magic. skating rink, we've seen some doozies oh, of ice yeah. skating rinks in our time here on Deck the Hallmark. Yeah. This is the worst one, right? This is the worst one I've Brutal. ever seen. It is. The there were one. red carpets. Yeah. There yeah. are billowy curtains. Yeah. It was yeah. like, please break an ankle. Yeah. Yeah. Just whatever. Just please. Like, why do it? Why yeah. do the rink? Have like, yourself a cup of coffee. Yeah. Just, break an ankle. Do those two things while you're here it skating. Was, it was this movie where I found <laughs> out that uh, Austria has no fire codes. You can do anything, <laughs> anything. you want to at any time. <laughs> But Luke, have you go have ahead. ever even seen in real life a, 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 a an ice skating rink that looks like that? Like no. I'm there with I, like no. I, but, but, like but, I was struck but, with, but, with but, like, I, where, where did you even think that yeah, this was How did you get that idea? <laughs> for, for the record, there was zero ice at that ice skating <laughs> rink. The, well, yeah. it was. they tried to make you believe it was about 20% are ice. We, are we misinterpreting? Was it not I, an ice well, skating I rink? Think that, I think the thing is, and Hallmark has never been able to get this right, uh, ice skating rinks notoriously <laughs> empty. <laughs> like notorious for not having things in their way, yeah. just having ice and walls because, you know, safety and hallmark is like well that's not christmasy enough and so we will routinely see Mm. ice skating rinks on the hallmark channel there's a christmas tree in the middle of the ice skating rink or there's like um different benches to sit on and it's stupid but this takes the cake that there was so drink there, service. Drink. There was the actual ice. table <laughs> yeah. service on the ice. That this, is never heard to of To this that point, before. I was at an ice skating rink with my kids last year, and we were skating, and they had two cones on the ice to, to show you where to go around. A kid tripped on the cone. <laughs> <laughs> there was two things on the ice, and even and that was too much. The good news is, is that ice skates aren't sharp on the no, ground right. either. It's There's not, no, yeah. no yeah, chance exactly of right. yeah. anything yeah. bad happening yeah. there. That's fine. It's uh, fine. The only other thing that stood out uh, a few things, but I'll, I'll stop here. Was the Vienna Chocolatier of the Year award? Yeah. S- like the way that you drop off was you just bring your box of chocolates and you just <laughs> put it down like you're returning a library book. Yes. Like no, they know no mm. like per- pomp and circumstance around it. No, like, just no. you just drop it off. When, you hope it gets to the judges. You hope it gets. When where it's supposed she to be. said she was going for Chocolatier of the Year in Vienna, uh, I was like, this is the premise of this movie. Whole We're going to have a whole contest. Not even no, close. It's, it's yeah. just to drop it in the mail um, situation. <laughs> <laughs> Barely a part of it, actually. Um, yeah. Luke, anything stick out to you that made you go away? What aside from ice skating rinks? Oh man, I uh, oof. the I thought that the Maya and Alfred, uh, no Wilfred mm-hmm. situation, mentally never saw coming, and never saw that the movie uh, needed. Um, but when there was the one scene where he go, w- Wilfred goes to Henry, like, oh, I'm seeing Maya tonight. I was like, there wasn't any in the previous hour of the film or 45 <laughs> minutes. There was no like looks or winks or anything to, to symbolize that maybe there was something going on here. And so that was a little bit of a, a, um, uh, wait, what? Yeah. Like, what, what's, going, yeah. what's going on here? A little surprising. Uh, to me, yeah. uh, just fundamentally never saw it coming. Yeah, yep. that's fair. Mm-hmm. fair. In, in, a, in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah, of course, in a bad way. Just to make sure Luke is saying it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was a bad way. Yeah. Uh, Joel, <laughs> anything stick out to you? Well, look, I have to say this. And, and I, if, if, if anyone from <laughs> the film actually made it this far <laughs> and is not furious at us, it's a feat to make any film. Yeah. I will say that. Yeah. Yes. As 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 a as like Luke says it well. It's like you have to be kind of crazy to make any film. Like it's so hard to get people mobilized, to get extras, to get so so you know. Um, props to them for making a movie. Um, and 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 that that's 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 there's something to be said about that. This is like so, Joel, Joel 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 doing this right now is like a whole mock scene. He's yeah. Yeah. To yeah. make you feel really good about I, it. I really they're going to put job. that on the DVD box. Yeah. Uh, prop, <laughs> props to them yeah. for making a film Joel Smallbone for King and Country. <laughs> 
on the deck the uh, homework look, bucket. Look, look, I didn't. This is all about stakes to me, right? Again, I keep coming back yeah. to the high stakes and the low stakes. I did not really care about him or her. I liked them both. I. I certainly didn't care about um, Alfred and the other um, young lady. Uh, no. th- th- I did not care about their dynamic. Uh, I I did not care about his dad. I, I and I and and I also did not care at all about the sidekick to the real estate agent uh, or the the lady uh, that was. There was just some woman that was sort of in the background for a lot of these <laughs> um, scenes. That I, I like. I actually cared. I wanted to know what why she was there and. She seemed like she stole the chocolate at one point, and that, and that was kind of it. Um, the, so w- what I have to go to is, like, what stuck out to me is, is just I thought there was some, to, to, to Brian's point, I thought there were some really pretty shots. I actually thought you could take, it, you know, some of the, the scaled shots, like the red bike and those bits, and I thought it had a level of scope, personally. Um, th- and then the only other thing that stuck out with me, there was just some head-scratcher edit moments that I was like, I don't think, like, in an hour and 23-minute film, you didn't need that bit. And maybe they were extending. Like, like uh, one random one at the beginning was when they all meet for the first time in the park or whatever, and, and, and one of them reaches over to shake the woman's hand, and then Henry reaches over to shake the woman's hand. I was like, you don't need, no one needed to see them both shake <laughs> yeah. their hands. I know that happens in real life, but th- just... Just cut that bit out. Yeah. Like there's yeah. just some little Fair. tidbits like that. But being very very obnoxiously nitpicky at this point, admittedly. Yeah. That's fair. Well, let me continue that. Uh <laughs> There's a line towards the beginning of this movie when she's talking um to her friends oh, uh, about the competi- about the competition, the uh chocolatier, chocolatier of the year. That's right. Yeah, yeah. She says I want to create something that will knock the competition out of the park. <laughs> and there, there is, there is yeah. a saying there. Here in you America, know? it's not <laughs> that. There <laughs> is a saying there about knocking something out of the park, but I don't think it has anything to do with what you do to the competition. Uh, they're, uh, they're Austrian bread. They're, yeah. they're Austrian. <laughs> See, she's already pick- Luke, is, yeah. Luke is the mastermind of taking, taking phrases <laughs> and merging them, but because he has an Australian accent, no people one questions it. People are yeah. just like, yeah, oh, yeah, shrimp on the Barbie. Got it. Like they yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't question. They <laughs> want to create something that like, knocks the competition out of the park. So. <laughs> like instead of saying like I've got some demons in my closet, he'll be like I've got or like skeletons in my closet. He'll be like I got some demons in my closet. Or <laughs> yeah. like that sounds way worse. Rock the, rock the feathers. He'll be like I, I I don't want to rock any boats here. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. But oh, that's the right. That's the right one. That's the right one. You switched it. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Now who's rocking the feathers? That's the only one. Uh, I got two more uh, really quickly. They're decorating a tree together, and he says, uh, "I've never decorated a tree. My oh. my my dad, my parents just weren't into it." Okay, what? <laughs> my parents weren't into it. First of all, weird. But second of all, if somebody says that to me, I'm immediately giving them a hug, and I'm just being like, "Yo, how's therapy going?" Because you need to be in it. That should have been the first first thing where she goes. Oh my gosh, he's got some some demons in his closet. He's got some demons in his closet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's right. He's crazy. Demons. But you know what? To, 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 yeah, the to tack the on to that, <laughs> the problem is not only does he say that, then he goes, and then I went to boarding school, and so we didn't ever decorate the tree. You didn't come home for Christmas when you went to boarding school. Your parents are monsters. Yeah, they it's just, a holdover. They sit holdover. you, you, that's sit, why, hey, you that's boarding why, school, that's and they why said the father son. Yeah. yeah, that's why the father son reconciliation was just so powerful. Uh, all feels, well, powerful like, and out of <laughs> Dan, nowhere. Can we agree? Can we agree on this though? Can we agree on yeah. this? Um, in that, if I went oh, to you and I said I have a Hallmark film uh-huh. about a young lady who came, and you touched on this brand with your synopsis, who came from America because her grandmother died, yeah. and she'd lived a lot of life. She came back to Austria. And she just believed in legacy and she wanted to start this, this chocolate sh- storefront. And, you know, and this sort of evil empire is trying to take it from her and she needs this evidence. But, how, oh, hang on. The person at the top of the evil empire is actually this, this young man who's actually a well-intentioned fellow who got handed this down. And all he wanted to do was be loved by his dad, but he's sort of this unloved fellow. And by the way, it's chocolate. In Austria, yeah. in Vienna, and 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 she's got this like she's trying to do this chocolatier contest, and like 
I would actually go, yeah, yeah. That that's is why a, I picked it because I was like, yeah, yeah. Sounds like no, a it sounds idea. like a movie that has been a movie. Like it sounds like a Hallmark movie we've seen a dozen times. Like we've this is the ultimate Hallmark premise. And I'm hearing like, there's a death. You know, Sign big city up. character <laughs> comes to small town or small like local lodge, big hotel chain, like. This is like, you know, I, Candace Cameron Bure made a dozen of these movies. Yeah. Like, it, like that is what Hallmark was built on. This and the fake relationship. Like, those are the things that Hallmark was built on. So, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Joel. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dan. Yeah, I got a couple more. I do need to mention once again, she says, I always say about life and chocolates that change is the thing that keeps life from being mm. a snooze fest. It makes sense the second time. If you, <laughs> if you say two things, you need to say it something. It makes less sense to me, Brian. <laughs> it time. would be like saying, the thing about work and basketball. in the feather. The, the thing about work and <laughs> basketball is, is that... Change makes work fun. <laughs> well, what about basketball? You can't exactly, you can't exactly. Do That's it the two point. for one. If you want to tell me something about life and chocolate, then don't follow it up with life is a snooze fest without change. What about chocolate? Exactly. What you about the chocolate? Promise me a thing about chocolate. You know what's crazy? In the film, I was like, oh, this makes sense. And then I said, first time, I was like, this doesn't make sense. And now that you say, I was like, this makes no sense. They got you. <laughs> they got you. That's you, how you they, got me. You got um, they the, the big, the com big company. Danube Development is the name of this company. Danube Development Damn Group in Austria. They are a billion dollar company with their logo and sign taped to a wall. <laughs> they, this, Temporary. this billion dollar company went to the Daniel Thompson eighth grade school of putting his Batman Forever poster up in his bedroom. They like they have. You don't get to be a billion dollar company by wasting money <laughs> on signage. On good sign. That's right. Is it centered? It doesn't matter. CFO that approved. That is scotch tape, man. It's going to last all week unless it gets humid. Yeah. Like, it, you know, like, I can't. It's a billion-dollar company. You saw you they, saw their show yesterday. They had somebody holding them up into the air with their hands. There is, there is more tech involved in just the Drummer Boy, boy song than in this whole movie's budget. Yeah. Uh, that, listen, they, they don't. I'm sorry. If you're a billion-dollar company, you have to act like it a little bit, a right? Little like bit. a framed or a, a something that isn't wasn't made at Kinko's on poster board. Like I just, that was pretty brutal. Um, and then I've got two more. I'll just go with one just for this, uh, the sake of time. Oh, I do just real quick. After all this, this uh, woman who owns the chocolate shop does decide to go with the billion dollar company. I want to be very clear. Well, got That's to. how it's different. Right. She decided to, to say, yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Um, but my last one is the big thing that turns the tide for her in this movie is she finds her grandma's best friend like who taught who taught her English, who's living in that town. And Which like, should have been the very first person that she went yes, to. Yes, thank you, Joel. That, that The fact that this woman has been hiding away. She's like, I love my grandma so much. We were, she was my favorite person. She had a best friend she never talked about and lives in town. Like, what? <laughs> Like, am I being punked right now? Yeah. The fact that that woman, the first scene of this movie should be her having tea in that woman's house. That should be the first scene of this movie, yeah. and instead it's used to move the plot forward, and it was unforgivable. Well, it was crazy. Um, that does bring up uh, a What the Hallmark, um, which is where we talk about any questions that we still have, and yours is related to mine, so I'll just go really quickly. The There's a picture that she has of her grandma um, which is just a picture of her grandma. And then she discovers the other picture, which <laughs> is that same uh, picture, yeah. right. but another yep. person, the person next, um, did something happen <laughs> between the two of them? You know how, like when you break up with someone and you cut all your pictures, <laughs> you know, it's like this person's out of my life. Why did she only have that picture of her grandma, which was a picture of her grandma originally from a picture of her grandma with her friend? <laughs> Something something <laughs> may have happened, and I'm and I'm yeah. and I'm concerned. convenient. Yes, convenient, convenient. Only have half that picture. Uh, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> um, Luke, do you have anything that you're uh, that you would like uh, uh, answered before before we go? Hey, an answer as much of it as it is. I think the what the hallmark to me was that this dude Henry is the son of a billionaire, and he uh, you know if you're just thinking through like passing something very special on to a son, you know usually. Fully speaking, they're like showing like ability in how to lead a company or whatever. <laughs> and the movie basically starts with the son going, yeah, I don't want to show up to work. I don't want to do this, that and the other. 
And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, ever exist? Like, who gives a business to someone that doesn't want to do it, doesn't have any interest in it, seemingly, and also just doesn't seem to have a work ethic? Yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, that was a little bit of a, a puzzling, puzz- and it's a billion dollar company, mind you. Yeah, just a billion, um, just an easy, a, cool billion. A, a, yeah. a, 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 a little bit of a... A little bit of a head scratcher for me. That's fair. Uh, Joel, anything that you would like uh, answered before we go? I just want to know what the hallmark happened after the film. Because <laughs> I don't think they end up together. Mm. Yeah, fair. Fair. Mm. Based on the bedrock of their relationship and the sort of the shallow nature of it, I think, I think they sort of try it for about six months and they're like, hey, you've got your billion dollar thing and, you know, mm. and I'm... You've never, you know, decorated Christmas tree. You go to therapy. I'm gonna go do the 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 the, the chocolate. The yeah. chocolate. The thing. Chocolate. Yeah. This is this is exactly the reason why Joel isn't a Hallmark uh, film director, right there. Yeah. That's, uh, yes, that's, uh, or he yeah, should be. Maybe yes. he should be. He should yes. be to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we'll work on something together. Uh, Brian, anything for you that yeah, you would like some answers I, to? Uh, the, the Wilfred, who is the right-hand man, I was waiting the whole movie mm. for the that conversation of, hey, Wilfred, why don't you just take yeah. over the company? Yeah. The guy wants to run no the company. Brainer. Like, let Wilfred. He's doing it anyway. So was there a version of this where Wilfred? Uh, so, that's good. Yeah. Give yes. him the company. It's good stuff. I'm sorry about what I said. Thanks, earlier. man. Thanks, man. And also, we also want to know about the eggnog. Like, how is that? I think that we eggnog? all want to know about the nog. That we're big like? nog fans around big here. Right? And, yeah. and also, while we're talking about you know uh, sort of wet substances, uh, <laughs> just the, the I guess it was innuendo when they threw out the the hot toddy thing. It was the one sort of risque bit of the whole film. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to go get a hot toddy with, That's and right. I was like, what is it? Oh. <laughs> How you saying hot toddy? Yeah, uh, Dan. Anything? It's true. Uh, so the actor that that is helping and working in the chocolate uh, shop, who is from all three. We did movies earlier this year, uh, Luke and Joel, called Love on the Danube. <laughs> three of them, uh, and they're all take place on a boat on the Danube River. And this woman who's in this movie in the chocolate shop is also in all three of those movies. She's Canadian. Like, she's not from there. She doesn't live there. Her name is Catherine Disher. That is her name. I want to know what the deal is. I want to know if they filmed all these movies at the same time. She just happened to be available for six straight weeks Mm. to do all. Like, it's just wild that I don't hardly. I mean, she was on a show for Hallmark called The Good Witch. But for us... We don't see her that often, and then we've seen her four times in the last month, Mm. and all four are around the Danube River. And I I don't know, like... I just want the information on that. That's yeah. that's my what the hallmark. That's, that's all I got. Yeah, uh, we did it. Yeah, we my did. sweet sure did. Austrian holiday. It's in the books, um, boys. Thank you guys so you much guys, for joining us. Please Great. come back. Don't even yeah. promote it. Just just come back and hang out sometime. This guys. was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun for let's, King and Country. Let's, let's make this an annual affair. I love it. Thank and then, you for coming to the yeah, show. Yeah, it, was yeah, so yeah, it, was, yeah. it was so much fun. So much fun for King and Country. A drummer boy Christmas live in theaters this December fifth through the ninth. Chances are it's coming to a theater near you, so check that out. Uh, fellas, thank you so much. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. Until then, maybe we're the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark's The Bravel Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to brambljamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day. We've all got a thing. For me, it's vintage furniture. And now talking about how I found it on eBay is like my whole personality. Even at 2 a.m. when I can't get 19th century sofas off my mind, I'm on eBay for sure. Scrolling my favorite seller's storefront, setting search alerts and building the watch list of my literal dreams. I know antique lamps aren't everybody's thing, but the best part about eBay is it doesn't matter what you're into. Fashion, car parts, trading cards, it's all there. So go find the thing that keeps you up at night. eBay. Things. People. Love. If your day sounds like... We need the report ASAP. You deserve Medella. If you've persevered through... 
You deserve this rich golden lager with a crisp but refreshing taste. Or if you overcame. Two more. Two more. Reps, two more. You deserve this ice cold reward. Medellin, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then it's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Your dining room is the heart of your home, where meals are shared and memories are made. At Ashley, you'll find affordable dining furniture in a range of classic and modern styles. Ashley's small space sets and extendable tables are designed to fit beautifully into any space. From cozy breakfast nooks and kitchens to formal dining areas fit for a feast. And with mix and match seating options, everyone at your table gets the perfect seat. At Ashley, style is served. Shop in store or online today. Everybody sleeps, but no two people sleep alike. At Coop Sleep Goods, we celebrate the way you sleep differently. We believe everyone deserves a great night's sleep with their own pillow. And the adjustable, customizable Coop pillow makes it easy. Whether you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, or even a starfish, we've got the perfect pillow for you. Crafted with our innovative memory foam and microfiber fill, our hypoallergenic pillows adjust to you, not the other way around. Just tailor the fill for the perfect fit. Add some in, take some out, until your pillow's just right for you. See why luxury hotels and spas worldwide feature Coop Sleep Goods and why we have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. With our 100-night risk-free trial, you've got nothing to lose. Except those sleepless nights. Get 25% off your first order when you visit coopsleepgoods.com slash comedy. That's C-O-O-P sleepgoods.com slash comedy. We've all got a thing. For me, it's vintage furniture. And now talking about how I found it on eBay is like my whole personality. Even at 2 a.m. when I can't get 19th century sofas off my mind, I'm on eBay for sure. Scrolling my favorite seller's storefront, setting search alerts, and building the watch list of my literal dreams. I know antique lamps aren't everybody's thing, but the best part about eBay is it doesn't matter what you're into. Fashion, car parts, trading cards, it's all there. So go find the thing that keeps you up at night. eBay. Things. People. Love. If your day sounds like... We need the report ASAP. You deserve Medella. If you've persevered through... You deserve this rich golden lager with a crisp but refreshing taste. Or if you overcame... Two more reps. Two more. You deserve this ice cold reward. Medella. The mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then it's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Your dining room is the heart of your home, where meals are shared and memories are made. At Ashley, you'll find affordable dining furniture in a range of classic and modern styles. Ashley's small space sets and extendable tables are designed to fit beautifully into any space. From cozy breakfast nooks and kitchens to formal dining areas fit for a feast. And with mix and match seating options, everyone at your table gets the perfect seat. At Ashley, style is served. Shop in-store or online today. Everybody sleeps, but no two people sleep alike. At Coop Sleep Goods, we celebrate the way you sleep differently. We believe everyone deserves a great night's sleep with their own pillow. And the adjustable, customizable Coop pillow makes it easy. Whether you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, or even a starfish, we've got the perfect pillow for you. Crafted with our innovative memory foam and microfiber fill, our hypoallergenic pillows adjust to you, not the other way around. Just tailor the fill for the perfect fit. Add some in, take some out, until your pillow's just right for you. See why luxury hotels and spas worldwide feature Coop Sleep Goods and why we have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. With our 100-night risk-free trial, you've got nothing to lose, except those sleepless nights. 
Get 25% off your first order when you visit coopsleepgoods.com slash comedy. That's C-O-O-P sleepgoods.com slash comedy. We've all got a thing. For me, it's vintage furniture. And now talking about how I found it on eBay is like my whole personality. Even at 2 a.m. when I can't get 19th century sofas off my mind, I'm on eBay for sure. Scrolling my favorite seller's storefront, setting search alerts, and building the watch list of my literal dreams. I know antique lamps aren't everybody's thing, but the best part about eBay is it doesn't matter what you're into. Fashion, car parts, trading cards, it's all there. So go find the thing that keeps you up at night. eBay. Things. People. Love. If your day sounds like we need to report ASAP, you deserve Medella. If you've persevered through two more rings, two more, you deserve this ice cold reward. Medella, the mark of a fighter. Trick responsibly, beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then. It's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Your dining room is the heart of your home, where meals are shared and memories are made. At Ashley, you'll find affordable dining furniture in a range of classic and modern styles. Ashley's small space sets and extendable tables are designed to fit beautifully into any space. From cozy breakfast nooks and kitchens to formal dining areas fit for a feast. And with mix-and-match seating options, everyone at your table gets the perfect seat. At Ashley, style is served. Shop in-store or online today. Everybody sleeps, but no two people sleep alike. At Coop Sleep Goods, we celebrate the way you sleep differently. We believe everyone deserves a great night's sleep with their own pillow. And the adjustable, customizable Coop pillow makes it easy. Whether you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, or even a starfish, we've got the perfect pillow for you. Crafted with our innovative memory foam and microfiber fill, our hypoallergenic pillows adjust to you, not the other way around. Just tailor the fill for the perfect fit. Add some in, take some out, until your pillow's just right for you. See why luxury hotels and spas worldwide feature Coop Sleep Goods and why we have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. With our 100-night risk-free trial, you've got nothing to lose. Except those sleepless nights. Get 25% off your first order when you visit coopsleepgoods.com slash comedy. That's C-O-O-P sleepgoods.com slash comedy. If your day sounds like we need to report ASAP, you deserve Medella. If you've persevered through two more rings, two more, you deserve this ice cold reward. Medella, the mark of a fighter. Trick responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. If the new Chicken Big Mac at McDonald's looks like a Big Mac, has three buns and sauce like a Big Mac, but has two chicken patties, then it's not not a Big Mac. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Did you know that parents rank financial literacy as the number one most difficult life skill to teach? Meet Greenlight, the debit card and money app for families. With Greenlight, you can set up chores, automate allowance, and keep an eye on your kids' spending with real-time notifications. Kids learn to earn, save, and spend wisely. And parents can rest easy knowing their kids are learning about money with guardrails in place. Sign up for Greenlight today at greenlight.com slash podcast. Your dining room is the heart of your home, where meals are shared and memories are made. At Ashley, you'll find affordable dining furniture in a range of classic and modern styles. Ashley's small space sets and extendable tables are designed to fit beautifully into any space. From cozy breakfast nooks and kitchens to formal dining areas fit for a feast. And with mix-and-match seating options, everyone at your table gets the perfect seat. At Ashley, style is served. Shop in-store or online today.